What's up, Space Cadets? This is KG4E, and welcome back to my Let's Play for Space Engineers. And I've got a million things going through my mind about what I want to do with this game. And I, like, I want to do everything at once, but I've got to kind of focus a little bit, make things a little bit more manageable for me. So today, I think we're going to be working on the base. And you guys have been a fountain of information. Um, you guys have been giving me more tips than I can deal with. Uh, so if your tips are not getting talked about, just keep leaving them. Um, it's not that like I'm not paying attention to them. It's just I kind of have to focus on a few things because um, you guys are an absolute fountain of information. And there's this game is really complicated. Uh, right away, someone said that there is a, um, a Pam... Another thing about PAM are small grid one by one LCDs you can put in front of your cockpit. You don't have to use those large LCD screens. So I'm not really sure what you mean by that because this is the LCD panel I was using and I think it is a one by one. It's taking up one block, right? So I'm not really sure what you mean by smaller LCD screens because that LCD screen is, I mean, maybe unless you mean like one block this big, I I'm not really sure what you mean by that. But if you can uh, let me know what you mean, like you mean one of these uh, smaller ones or or the widescreen, I have no idea. So let me know in the comments about that. Um, also, you guys want me to paint uh, this thing, uh, what, yellow and black to match my other ships, I guess? Which one did I paint? Oh yeah, I painted this. So I, I think I want the welder ship to be a different color than my mining ships. I want my mining ships to have a very specific color scheme. Uh, so the fact that my welder ship is, is, is yellow and black, and um, this little, well, this thing is a mining thing. Well, that's black, that's, um, green and yellow um can you give me another color scheme besides red and black i was thinking about white and um white and blue seems pretty good that's kind of like the color scheme of this thing uh and i could make my miners white and blue and my you know production ships uh yellow and black i don't know something i was thinking about let me know what you think about that in the comments um also people want me to go to space now i want to go to space i don't know how space works or why i would go there first of all i need platinum and i need uranium <clears throat> okay that's fair enough but what else can I do in space? People said there's like other planets you can go to. Well, one thing I could do is mute my damn phone. Sorry about that. Um, well, so one thing I could do in space is I go to other planets. Uh, but like, th it's really far away. Someone said there's like warp drives in the game. So how does that... Is there warp drives in the game? I thought someone said there's warp drives in the game. I'm not sure, guys. Let me know about space. How do I get around in a decent clip? Because right now with my regular engines, uh, it's simply not fast enough. Like, it takes me forever to get around in space. Um, and someone said something about warp drives or whatever. So let me know about that. And, um, you know, so I go to other planets and warp drives. I also need pl pl uh, platinum and um, uranium. So, you know, I need to put a drill on my ship. And yeah, I mean, maybe make a better ship. I don't know. I, I'm trying to, I'm trying to like get all this stuff, guys. But really, just information overload. Um, someone said, equip your your ships with a projector that will display the ship over itself. Uh, target the ship while docked in auto repair builder. That way, you may return. To so basically, I could put a um, I could put a projector on a ship I've already made, and that will like you know allow me to repair stuff that if I lose anything off the ship. How exactly does that work? I'm going to mess around with that off camera because I'm not really sure how that works. Does the projector have to go in a certain, like, direction? H how does that work? I, I don't know. I'm going to look into that. But, um, yeah, so thank you guys for the tips. And um, I am kind of torn about how I want to handle this base. All right, first of all, let me show you what I've done. I'm going to give kind of like a base tour because I've done stuff to this base, but I'm not really sure what I've done to this base um, like that you guys haven't seen. Okay, so I did send this guy out auto mining. I've turned him off because I have too much stone. Can't can't like deal with it all. I took this guy out and got a bunch of ice off camera. All right, and my power supply stuff is now working well. Now some people said that that the oh by the way I put down a bunch more batteries. Um, some people said that the hydrogen generator is not efficient, but I don't know. I I kind of like it um, because my my windmills are only putting out like three hundred and fifty seven. Uh, kilowatts and it, it kill a megawatts a, ki a thousand kilowatts right all right now this wasn't showing anything down here because it was off i simply turned it on and then turned it off again and you can see when i turn it on it's doing 2.5 uh, uh megawatts right and its max output is five why is it only doing 2.5 that's the question i have also someone was mentioning that uh asking for my wind turbines and i think most of them are optimal some of them are good you know Actually, it seems like only one of them is is messed up, and that might be because I haven't. Yeah, these are all optimal. Yeah, so one thousand kilowatts is one megawatt, right? Anyway, um, the one that is not optimal is in a 
it, like is the one that's going to get torn up. This one right here is not supposed to be here. <clears throat> Once they're all set up properly, they will all be optimal, which is kind of crazy considering they're right next to each other. They're kind of on top of each other. I didn't think that would work, but it does. Now, you might be asking, why is my hydrogen generator off? Um, well, I've got a lot of ice in here, but I do save the ice a lot of the time for uh, the bottles, right? And there's no room in here, by the way. Uh, it's, it's a little tricky to... Actually, how... Uh, I could do this, right? The thing is, as soon as I do that, it, it gets more ice. You know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go to that um, H2... Or, or is it O2 H2? Yep. All right, generator, and I'm going to not use the conveyor system. And now I should be able to take this out with it getting, without getting more ice, although it is. I'm not really sure why. It shouldn't be using the conveyor system, so I'm not sure. Where, well, you might be wondering, how is it getting that ice? Uh, well, if you look underneath here, I went ahead and did some work. All right, I hooked this up to here. It's taking all the... Oh, that's right, because all the ice is in here, and it's not. And that's not actually... Okay. All right, fair enough. Uh, I'll deal with that off camera. Um, so this thing is... Basically, what this thing is, it's pulling out of my main storage unit all the ice and bringing it up here um, into this uh, container. I probably don't need this container here. Like, I, I put that container there uh, originally just to kind of shovel all the ice into here, and then I built this later. So that container doesn't really need to be there. Again, I'll fix that off camera. That's neither here nor there. I just wanted to show you guys what I was up to um, in between videos. So let me go ahead and place this back. There we go. Now, what else did you guys miss? Oh, yeah, I put that in a second refinery. Um, they're connected right here. But the problem is I got some cobalt. One of my uh, ships got a bunch of cobalt. And cobalt is really slow to to go through the system. Um, so it's like, I mean, that's like 98,000 cobalt. That's going to take a freaking year to go through the system. So what I want to do is I'm going to probably set up... Right now, I have it, I have it only to take stone, right? It's not taking any ores at all. I, I'd like it if I could make it take iron ore but not cobalt ore, and I don't know if there's any way to do that, because all the, well, actually, there is a way to do that, there's, that, duh, there's a really easy way to do that, um, so let's go down here to iron, iron ore, add, uh, yeah, we'll just leave that for, for now, so now it'll just take iron and stone, all right, that works, um, the problem is I don't know what to do with all that cobalt. Am I going to need a lot of cobalt? It doesn't seem like I do, but I'm assuming I am. I think what I want to do, what I really want to do is I want another storage unit here. So I don't know where I'm going to put it though, because I didn't really plan for a second storage unit. I could probably put it right next to it, or I could put it underneath it. It doesn't need to be seen. Um, I th honestly, I think underneath it would probably be the best idea. The problem is you're going to see the one underneath. Well, no, actually you might not. You might not if you do it right. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to come down here and we're going to do some digging. I'm going to get this set up. This is going to be a working on the base video for sure. So let's get some uh, let's get some work done. All right, so I've got underneath, I've got a setup down here, right? Dug this all out, got this thing down here. Now, there's no way I'm getting a welding ship down here. And I'm going to be perfectly honest with you guys, I'm kind of like tempted to just use that build and repair system for like everything. Um, I'm going to resist the temptation, but... You know, um, a lot of times it comes to, like, a time thing. Like, I don't have unending time to make videos for this game. So, you know, uh, if it's a difference between getting a lot of work done, you know, I'll probably use it. Because if I don't get enough work done, people are not going to be interested um, in watching this series. So, I will use it sparingly, though. That's faux show. But I am going to use it right now, and I'll show you how I'm going to use it right now. So, come up here to the build and repair system. I'll show you something neat. This is really cool. So, I've got this thing. Um, all spread out around the entire base. Okay, check this out. Uh, where is it? There we go. There's the area, right? Everywhere. It's around the entire base, right? So how do I get it to, you know, actually build stuff? So this is what you do. First of all, I'm going to turn that off because it's annoying. Uh, not annoying. It's, you know, it's just not something you want to see around your base. It's ugly. Um, what you want to do is you come up to the welding portion, right? Um, settings for welding, all right? And then you have ignore color, right? And then um, you have it ignore the color of 0, 0, 45, okay? And 0, 0, 45 is the base color, uh, at least in my game. Whenever I put down a block, that's the base color. So you put down a block. You don't want it welded unless you say to have it welded, okay? Fair enough. So how do you get it welded? Well... Let's see. I think I think if you put it as any other color, yeah, that's it. You just put it as any other color, and it will be welded automatically. Um, so 
if I want that big box down there to get welded, I just pick a different color. Uh, we'll pick black. And then we just look at it and... I forget how to do this. I think you the middle mouse button when you're looking at it and it'll color it black. So let's see if we can get down here. There we go. So your middle mouse button. And is it colored black? I don't know. We'll know in a second if it starts. You know, I wonder if this thing's actually underground. I don't know. I don't think it actually colored it black. Uh, oh, there it goes. It did color it black. It just takes a few seconds. Right? So now it should be, uh, you know. Yep, there you go. It's being made. Beautiful. Now, what I want to know is, because I have a lot of sorting systems coming out of that big storage container up top, will this one... Will, Will these two storage containers act as one? Like, if there's ore, if there's like ore in here, will it pull it out through this one and through the sorting system? I don't know. We're gonna have to find out. Uh, we will know pretty soon, though. Uh, I think I, I think a way to test that. So now I want this to go back to the base color because I'm not, you know, coloring this. Oh, that doesn't look. Yeah, that's the base color. Okay. All right. So, um, how does this work? So let's go ahead. And, oh, yeah, I know this is a really easy way to do it. We have stone set up to be pulled out. So all we got to do is come down here and grab some stone. Any amount of stone, doesn't matter. And we're going to put it in this bottom container here. Now, if the stone gets pulled out, then we know it's it's working as intended. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep, there you go. And that should be gone to the refinery. Yep. There you go. Cool. All right. So it does add, It does act as one storage container setup, which is what I wanted. Now, how the hell do I get out of here? Uh, I guess we'll get out of here through here for now. Okay. So um, does that mean... Hmm, so that means if this one on top gets full, then it should use the bottom one as extra storage. Okay. So what we're going to do to test that is we are going to get some stone coming in. All right. Some serious stone. Now, when I was doing this in between, um, videos, like I was, I had this thing out there doing its thing. I had like way too much stone. It got backed up. This thing had stone. It was actually storing stone in my welding machine because it was just looking for inventory. So <laughs> yeah, that, was, that was a bit of a problem. So we're going to do now is we're going to come over here. Nope. We're going to go over here. Look this way. S uh, record. Nope. 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 Continue job. Right. I think that's what we want to do. I hope so. That thing, why is that battery on auto? It's not supposed to be on auto. It's supposed to be on recharge. Okay, well, there it goes. Maybe it was on auto because it was full, or maybe I switched it to auto without realizing it. I don't know. Whatever. Do your thing. All right, I'm going to turn... Uh, first of all, I'm going to turn both of my refineries off because I want to force the stone to back up and see if it goes into that. So, by the way, this is the amount of ice I got. Like, I came back with like 200,000 ice. <laughs> pretty freaking sweet um also all right so i'm creating a lot of stuff that i don't need right now but because of the fact that it takes time to produce stuff i want to have stuff like ready to go for future building projects now i realize that's inefficient and i'm okay with that uh maybe when i get more more like refinery set up uh, i might not have to do that as much but for now um it's kind of how i want to handle things all right, so um, we need to clear out this stuff right here. Okay, we need to get this um, survival kit out of there. We need to get the H2O2 generator out of there. It's time to move that stuff out of there. So let's bring that over here. So the number one thing is the survival kit um, because I want a place to be able to spawn. And then the O2 H2 generator. Okay, now what happens if you have two survival kits down? Which one do you spawn at? I guess like, I don't know. I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm going to put this one... I might want to put generators with this thing. So I'm going to put this over here. Um, I don't really need the generators right now because my batteries are doing fine with the power now. It was just trying to get... It was like 16 batteries um, set up in that... Uh, in the... the uh, midis? Mids? In the mids uh, version 2. Yeah, that's what it's called. Uh, that, you know, took some time. All right, so that'd be, that means a generator would be on top. Um... I, I might want multiple generators hooked up to this thing. Uh, I could do that with piping. Do I want them to be on top or next to it? I think I kind of want them to be next to it. So what we're going to do is... You see, that doesn't that's not facing up. All right. All right. I, I want this thing facing up <laughs> properly. I want, that control, I want that control panel to be facing the way it's supposed to be facing. So that's the way I'm going to do it. And that's it. All right. Let's, um, you know, let's do some welding, right? I think we're going to do some welding. That should be fine. Um, what are we going to... See, this is where I... Can you use the... Um, I'm going to do this. And I'm going to do that. 
And I'm going to try and get all of that stuff into the welding ship automatically. I, I don't think there's any way to do it, right? There's no way to use the build planner to get stuff in a, in a particular um, cargo container, right? Or is there? Let me know if there is. Because that's where this welding ship is a real problem. I don't remember what I need, right? So, all right. Well, whatever. Um, cargo. This is how I find my welding ship, by the way. Cargo weld. And then comp. All right, so probably gonna need a few computers. Gonna need some of that. Gonna need a few of these. Few. I see. I don't know what I need. I don't think I need tubes for this, but I just don't know. Is that all the? Really? That's all the interior plates I have? No. No. Interior plates. Wow. Okay then. That's all the interior plates I have. Well, there you go. We need interior plates and a lot of them. I'm thinking 2,000 just to start. Oh, they only take iron? And they probably don't take up a lot of space either. Let's just make 3,000. The hell with it. Alright, so we don't have a lot of interior plates, but... Hopefully we have enough. Probably not, but you never know. Alright, so let's go ahead and use this thing. We're going to uh, do that. Undock. Go to third person. I'd like to make it... Oh. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Cage. That was unsafe, my friend. Unsafe. All right, guys. I went ahead and reloaded the game. And as you can see right here with the refineries off, everything is going into large cargo container number four. Beautiful. All right. Now what we got to do is we got to go shut this thing off so we don't get overloaded with stone. Because um, I want to like... Well, you know what? Let's just do it right now. Let's just take a look at this. Make sure this is the right one. And... Yep. Large cargo container number four. Looking good. All right. Let's turn the refinery on. Um, at least not the first refinery. Refinery on. There you go. Do your thing. And I'm actually going to turn off the rock around the clock setup because it's just bringing in too much stone. I don't want to get backed up with stone right now. I want to get multiple refineries going. This thing is just a beast. I love it. All right. So let's go ahead and turn number four off. And then let's come back here. That, that. Everything's off. Good to go. All right. Woo, man. All right, now let's try and uh, let's try and use our welding ship without blowing it up. And I did save it. You know, I think there's going to be a point in this game where I'm going to... If, if something gets blown up, I might just leave it blown up and have to make another one. I think that'll be pretty cool, you know? I, don't, I mean, I, I like the idea that I can reload and stuff because this game is un -effing forgiving okay? It's really, really tough. Very unforgiving. I've known people, like... Who, like, won't play this game now because, like, like you tap into something and your ship explodes, you know? Um, and that's that's a shame because this game's freaking phenomenal. Uh, but it is what it is. They won't play it because of that. And I was like, well, just use a save feature, you know? Just save and reload. I mean, if you feel like, you know, it was too much, then just reload. But I do want to, like, not do that much if I can avoid it. I'll just make more ships. As I get more materials, it won't be so much of a big deal. Like I said, it's just a time sink thing. Like, I just don't have the time. If a ship blows up and it takes me two hours to get back to where I was, I, I can't I can't make the videos. <laughs> I just can't do it. Uh, you know, there's not enough time in the day. I love this game. I'm super addicted to it. But, you know, uh, there's only so much time in the day. It's that simple. All right, so let's go ahead and turn that on. And this thing, sh that's my survival uh, thingy, Bob. I did have some silver to uh, make the medical components for. I'm missing something great. I love it when I'm missing stuff. See, that's what that's what it is with the welder. Like, I want to be able to use the build planner to pull things out of the base into the welder. You know, what the hell is the welder missing? It's missing something for both of them. Uh, what is it missing? It's probably something obvious. Eh, let's go get some more materials. All right, I was missing computers. So, I always get interior plates mixed up with computers because they kind of look a little bit alike to me. But, you know, what are you going to do? And you might be thinking, well, okay, just remember what you're going to need. Um, yeah, I don't have the best memory. And honestly, like, I shouldn't have to remember. Like, I should have computers doing this stuff for me. Um, you know, we're in the... You know, think of it as, like, Factorio, you know? Like, you kind of want things to be done for you eventually. You know what I mean? Like, you shouldn't be, like... You, know, you got to delegate responsibility to the to the machines that you build. Um, and what I gotta really do is I gotta turn on enemies at some point so that that'll be my you know my challenge to you know watch out for the the pirates and the, the dogs and the spiders although I hear they're not that much of a threat but you know still we'll see all right number seven and let's go ahead and finish these up I could have done this by hand four times over by now this is really like very time inefficient but eh, it's fun you know and that's what really matters but 
Yeah. All right. So there we go. Uh, survival. Wait, what? Oh, am I missing something else? No, I was gonna say. Just gotta get really close. Okay. You should be able to make better, like, uh, welders that can, like, weld from farther away. Like, laser welders or something. Wait, what? <laughs> That's what I was missing from there. What am I missing? Hold on, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Oh, that's right, the large steel tubes. Again, I could have done this way faster using the build planner stuff. Uh, I only need, like, two. Uh, that's not my... There we go. Nope, not those. Yes, those. All right, well, it is what it is. There we go, and that's done. Beautiful. All right, now let's do some more welding on the base. Now, where this, th where this like, welding ship really shines is massive welding projects. Like... You know, this stuff. Like, okay, so you don't have to worry about, like, a lot of different little things. You just load your ship up with, uh, you know, steel steel plates. And then you just... This is, this is where this really shines. The problem is, the gravity is just killing me. Like, the gravity's awful. I should have... Maybe I should make a welding ship that, like, has the welder facing down. That might be a good idea. But, yeah, we'll get, we'll get this done. Can I... Yeah. See, I can't really get that close to the ground without moving forward. Uh, because I have small, you know, I have small, like, thrusters keeping me from moving forward, but they're just not strong enough, you know? I mean, they're okay. It's just the weight. Yeah, this is where this thing really shines. Bu like, building massive amounts of, uh, walls is where this thing really shines. Alright, cool. Alright, guys, and I am back. Alright, so I went ahead and set up the auto builder thingy, mabob, whatever, um, to work on the ground. Uh, because there's certain parts of the ground I can't get to, like, with a welding ship, right? So in here, I really can't get in here with a welding ship. So I'll probably do a lot of this with that, um, with that auto-build thingy-mabob. But I think I'm gonna make an, a welding ship. First of all, you know what? I think I'm gonna make a welding ship with the welding thing pointing down for floors. I think that'll be pretty cool. And then maybe I'll start doing floors before I do ceilings, all right? And another thing we want to do is just start putting some lights in this place, man. For real. All right, so we're going to need some construction components. Actually, what do we need for the lights? Let's just get it all, because we're going to do these by hand, because they're not that expensive. Oh, they're just construction components. Yeah, I was going to say, they're definitely not that expensive. How is my inventory doing? Inventory is looking okay. Let's go ahead and look at both of our storage units. All right, so, yeah, inventory is looking pretty good. We've got a lot of stone. We still need to move that um, refinery. Man, I feel like I did not get a lot done today, but I've been playing for hours, and I've actually been uh, learning quite a bit. And uh, let's just go ahead and put down some of these lights. There we go. I'm just going to put them in random places for now. All right, and let's uh, let's get some light in here. All right, guys, so the lights in here are set up pretty good with their intensity. Um, but the problem is I did all the lights in the game, and the ones in here might be a little bit bright. So I think what I'm going to eventually do is, and again, I'm going to do this off camera, is I will probably go to the light system, right? And set up which ones are where. Like, if there's lights in the hangar, they probably need to have more intensity, more radius, you know, stuff like that. But if they're inside, they probably don't need as much. But th that'll be good for now. You guys should be able to see. Um, the lights in this game look fantastic, by the way. All right, so um, I did go ahead and try to put a projector on here. Right? I did put the projector on there, and I did line up the ship with the projector. Let me just show you really quickly. Oh, boy. All right. Well, you know, that's that. <laughs> uh, so I did lose something. What did I lose? Uh, okay. So I didn't lose anything that's going to destroy this setup. So what I did want to show you, though, is I want to show you what I did with this projector. And it's not like repairing or re like um, rebuilding anything like I want it to. Um, but the projector should be doing its thing. So there's the projector thing, and I can kind of offset it. It's not showing up, though. Why is the projector not showing up? That's kind of odd. I, I want it to show up, you know, but it's not showing up. I'm not really sure um, why. I can't, like, none of this stuff is, you know doing anything uh maybe i gotta put the blueprint on there oh the blueprint's not on there okay so what i gotta do is right here i do have my ship i took a blueprint of it um before i did anything and we're gonna go right there copy the clipboard and you can see right there it's there but it's off set a little bit so what we're gonna do is we're gonna i have a bunch of um things at the bottom in the hot bar that offset this thing left right forward up down a whole thing so there we go i think we just line that up properly yeah so that's see see how it's like right up there i can kind of bring it down 
and line it up properly. There you go. So now it's lined up. But the thing is, nothing's being repaired. Nothing. This thing's d damaged. This thing's not being rebuilt. I wanted this stuff to be rebuilt. Auto Wait. Oh, I could probably just... Here, hold on. Let me... Uh... No, see, that's not there. I have to actually place it down. But I want my build repair system to do it for me. All right. So, um... Uh, so... The thing is, it's not repairing the... Oh, these things aren't different colors. So let's... Let's change the color on this and see if that makes it. Uh, remember, it won't do. It won't repair anything that has the um, the wrong color. By the way, the lights in here are not quite right, and you know how I feel about dark videos. So there you go. Okay, much better. All right, so let's come up here and let's change the color on this and see if that helps. So middle mouse button. Now, will that be repaired by the building repair system? Now, sometimes the building repair system takes a little bit. So, you know, I'm not really sure what's going to happen here. But it doesn't look good. <laughs> All right. So, as you can see right here, it's not repairing anything. It, it wouldn't rebuild these atmospheric thrusters. Because these atmospheric, atmospheric thrusters are set up to the color that this thing's told to ignore. Okay, but this one's black and it's not being repaired. Um, I, I what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the uh, settings in here, and if you guys can let me know in the comments, I'm sure it's something obvious, but just in case, you could just pause the video if you want to see any of these settings. I'm not sure. It's probably something obvious that's staring me in the face, but there's the settings for welding. That's why it ignores everything that's not a different color. And I'm just gonna show you this. If you guys can let me know in the comments. That would be wonderful. All right, guys, I am going to call this one here. If you're enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy. All right, and for you super fans who stay away to stay around to the very end of the video, I always like to put these like little special things at the end of the videos for the people actually watch the whole video. Yeah, as soon as I hooked this thing up to the base, it started building, it started doing stuff. I'm not really sure what it's doing. But it started doing stuff. But all right, there you go. So there, it, it is repairing. It's just it's slow. I think for the um for the sake of like, um making the mod not OP, it repairs stuff very very slowly. So I, I believe it's gonna build these atmospheric thrusters. The thing with the atmospheric thrusters though is they're made to be ignored. So let me go ahead and make them black, and see if that helps them build it. Yep. Look at that. Okay. All right, so that's cool. Now we know how it works, and I just got to kind of um, mess around with stuff to, uh, you know, make it work even better. All right, cool, guys. Well, that's the real end of the video. I'll see you next time.